but I don't think driving in between two tornadoes is really a good idea. I mean, I've never been in one. Oh, there's one right there. How you doing, buddy? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just a giant machine. I don't sweat tornadoes, really. Tornadoes sweat me. They're terrified of me. Welcome back, everybody, to Giant Machines 2017. I'm your host, the Birdman known as Falcon, and you know what? I'm excited today. You know why I'm excited? Because at the end of last episode, wait, th I think we could all agree I probably wasn't cut out for cutting silicone out. Let me get this handbrake out of the way here. I don't think I was cut out for cutting silicone out of a mountain. So I went over there and I talked to the boss and I told the boss, you know what, boss? Boss man. I just don't think I'm cut out for, you know, the silicone duty thing. So I need a better job. Uh, apparently I've been drinking before I started working today. I, you will forgive me for that. Uh, you know, I was really excited last night because I got container duty. That's what the boss said. I have container duty. If I could just drive straight, he said too. All right, let's just drive straight. Hold up. It's a lot easier said than done, apparently. So today I got container duty, which sounds really cool to me because I'm thinking container duty sounds very close to containment duty. And you know what containment duty sounds like to me? Zombies and shit. So I think what's happening here is that we're trying to build a rocket to go into space because zombies are attacking us. So here in our dig site, we're probably going to get invaded by zombies today. It's going to be up to me to keep these zombies at bay, and I get to use a giant crane machine to do it. So I'm really excited about it. Oh, here it is. By failing last time around, I now get to control this giant crane, and we get to deal with zombies and shit. It's going to be awesome. Let's see how big this machine is. Oh my goodness, God. <laughs> Some could even probably argue that I failed on purpose to get a better job. And you know what? I would agree with you. I think I failed on purpose with this better job because now I have a giant machine. Look at this bad boy over here. All right, it's going to be awesome. Probably have zombies running down. Oh, there it is. You see that little pathway down there in the mountain? That's probably where the zombies will come from. And then I get to, like, use this giant machine to smash them down or something. Oh, my container unit's coming out. Oh, shit, son. I'm going to get, like, a bird's eye view of the zombie smashing. It's going to be cool. All right. Well, I mean, this could be faster, but that's fine. You know, it's really realistic. What can you do sometimes? If you're arguing that realistic zombies, well, don't 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 even argue that, okay? Just 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 go with it. Let me live my fantasy out here. What are we doing still? Oh, we're unfolding. Am I am I about to turn into like a giant transformer? <laughs> I feel like that's what's about to happen. Oh, dude, look at this. I'm gonna be like a giant mechanized spider, I think. Oh man. This is gonna be awesome. Alrighty, look now I'm I'm going up now too. Now there's probably this giant crane over here. I'm going to use it like a clothesline, and then when zombies run down, I'll get to sweep across the floor, and we'll knock all the zombies down. All right, that's what's really happening here today. I like it. I'm cool with that. Can I switch cameras? Oh, I can come over to here. Oh, okay. We can do this. Jib up. I'm jibbing up. Full jib. Unfold jib. Well, technically, it says unflowed jib. I don't think it should be unflowed, Jib. It should be unfold, Jib. But, you know, who am I to, you know, argue with the boss here, right? He knows what he's doing. He gave me this really important task here today, so it's all good. Look at this crane over here just moving about. Okay. Cool. So, zombies any moment now, right? Now, why is the, the little objective marker down here? Oh, I get it. So, here's what's going to happen. Oh, it's gonna even be better than I thought it would be. I'm gonna grab a container and I'll swing it around like a fucking nunchaku, and then I'll just slam zombies with the container when they when they show up. All right, yeah, this is even better than I thought it would be. So now I'm gonna use this container, and zombies go and show up. All right, let's raise it up, and I could I could um hook down, right? Yeah, hook down. Yeah, okay, cool. Here we go. So any moment now, any moment now. Zombies going to show up, and we're going to swing the shit. Let's actually start practicing our swinging. Oh, and this could be faster, but okay. Maybe you need a little bit of um, swinging first, you know? Just build up the momentum. It's all about momentum, really. All right, here we go. Zombies, you're going to get it right now, I assure you. You are going to get smashed down so bad once I finally build up momentum. All right, you know what? I'm not going to lie to you. It's been like about two minutes. I've been going back and forth. I don't see the momentum really happening, so I feel like I've been lied to about this whole zombie thing. I mean, nobody mentioned zombies. I brought that up myself, but I imagine that's what containment meant. Now, I'm noticing there's an objective pointer over there. Now, why is that? Oh, you know what? Maybe the zombies are inside of there. And I use this thing over here to not only break these little water holding things, but I'm going to basically break open the zombie container down there with my container. They'll come out and then we kill them. Okay. Uh, that makes sense. I, I thought we'd use like a nunchaku, but I guess I was wrong. So you come down here, right? And now, no, no, come down. Here we go. Here it is. Alrighty, get ready. Zombies about to bust out. 
And I'm ready for this. And that'll probably open it up. Okay, here we go. Ready for this shit. Zombies? Container stored one of four. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm storing containers? No, no, this is not what I had in mind. That's it. I'm done. I'm quitting. Um, all right. So, you know what? Maybe, maybe I jumped the gun here a little bit. I'm not quitting. I, I need a job. <laughs> it's, it's a really bad economy out there. I need a job. So, I talked to my union representative. I told him I felt that I was being underutilized. My skills were being underutilized. So, they had me cutting down mountains. Then they had me moving containers. And I complained to the union rep. And he said he got me, he got me covered. He's going to have my back. And, and so... I went from controlling giant machines to... to... um... fueling trucks now. I... I am designated fuel truck person. This is Open my job the now. To start the pump. Refueling will stop automatically at a full tank. Enjoy yourself. Don't get smarmy with me, boss man. Enjoy yourself. Did you, did you hear the smarminess in his voice when he said that? Like, he knows what's happened over here. So, you know what? I think we just gotta stop complaining, man. I gotta just roll with the punches here. I gotta do whatever job they give me. I was cutting down mountains, I, I moved containers, and now I'm fueling trucks here non-stop. So, this is my life. This is what I do now. Maybe this is what I get for complaining. I was hoping for zombies. I think I just heard the instructions incorrectly. This looks like a really scary, spooky place. Like, this would be a perfect place for zombies, really. But, um... No, no zombies. Instead, I have fuel duty now. Alright, break's over. Start the whole truck and proceed with ore transportation. Next stop is a motel. Very famous among truckers. What? A motel? <gasps> I know. Oh, they were tricking me all along. It's Bates Motel. Yeah, it's Bates Motel. It's probably up there. That's probably where we're going. Yes. I knew I was wrong about this. Maybe it wasn't zombies, sure. But maybe it was just Bates Motel. We were just getting ready for it. Okay. You're asking me about that thing? Am I going to remove it? Fuck, no, I'm going to remove it. I don't play by the rules. I make my own rules here. I'm going to come up here. And you know what? Screw that, like, line of thing. Maybe it'll caught, catch fire. Something exciting will happen right now. Let me look at another um, angle here. Is it still attached to me? It should be. Oh, it totally is. Okay, here we go. Turn engine on. Ah, oh, at least I get to ride the, the dump truck again. That's cool. Brakes off. Let's go. Here it is. It's gonna blow up. It. It didn't blow up. <sighs> All right, we're almost here, man. It's gonna be good. What happens if I smash through here? Hold on. I gotta try this. What do you mean I can't go through there? Do you see the size of my vehicle? Do you see that little small fence? That's keeping me from going in there and just smashing down that area? Ah, uh, you... You asked too much of me, Giant Machines 2017. I just want to have a little bit of fun. Do you understand what fun is? I don't think you understand what fun is, man, because you're keeping me from having fun at the moment. Alrighty, I'm here. We have a situation here. The overpass has collapsed under the weight of a truck transporting fresh wood. Pull on over and check on the driver's condition. I'll call for help. Oh shit! Something's happening now! We have a collapsed bridge, and we have fresh wood! <laughs> it's like they're writing my own material for me now! Okay, we get to go hang out with fresh wood in a collapsed bridge. Here we go. I knew something was going to happen eventually. Oh, there it is. Look. It's damn right collapsed. Alright, so what am I going to do? You smash through that shit right now? Alright, here we go. Let's go. I got this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I got you guys covered. Don't you worry. I'm going to smash through this and we'll be all fine and dandy. You telling me a couple of logs are holding me back? I don't think you understand the magnitude of this vehicle right now compared to us. This is a giant monstrosity. I can't get through a couple of logs by smashing through. We're nothing but a flesh wound. Driver's already been transported to the nearest hospital. However... We can't allow logs to block the only road in this village. I got you a brand new demolition shear for the job. Go on and cut up all the logs. <laughs> We're nothing but a flesh wound. 
All righty. Well, we got a demolition here. That sounds awesome. Okay, demolition. Sounds like explosions and shit. All righty. I'm down with this. Let's get off the vehicle here. Where's my demolition shear? Oh, man. It's going to be really cool. Is that it right there? It's got to be it right here. All right, cool. Demolition shear. I'm coming for you, buddy. It's got to be it. We just smash on through. To the other side. Smash on through. To the uh, I guess anyway, we did in a bigger vehicle. That's what happened here. All righty. It's not smashing through. It's not smashing through. Okay. Now, just smash through. Smash through. Go forward. Here we go. Smash on through. Yeah. Ah! Well, <laughs> there, there was an explosion. And then, up, up, up you go. Oh, and now we, oh, cut down the log. All righty. This is what we do every single morning if you're a guy. Wake up and cut down some logs, am I right? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm... Alrighty, so that's the last one here. All clear. Alright, the road's clear. Good job. Now, take the demolition shear off the road and get back to the haul truck at once. Further delays are not an option. Not an option. Oh, look, we got a timer now, too. Like, hey, you better do this shit really, really fast, otherwise we were in trouble here. Okay. Don't you worry, I'm good against the clock, man. <laughs> you see that? What the hell is that over there? That looks very abnormal to me. Are those moving? What are those things over there? Like giant shadow cylinders and columns. Nobody mentioned giant shadow cylinders and columns to me, man. It's kind of really weird. Okay. Well, <laughs> maybe that's where we're going. Maybe that's what the trucker's motel is at. No, for real, what is that? It's actually kind of terrifying. Stopping at this is where they're just hanging out. Here we are. Oh, great. Tornadoes are raging all over the road. You gotta leave this area before it's too late. <laughs> Can you sound any more worried or enthusiastic about the situation? Oh, great. Giant tornadoes are raging all over the road. Is that like a really common thing or something for you? I mean, mind you, I've never had a job like this before, but the moment I'd ever see a tornado, I'd be flipping my shit. I'd be running the opposite direction like full steam ahead, like don't even ever turn back. This guy is very calm about the entire thing. Ah, oh, great tornadoes. You better get on out of this as soon as possible. Look, they've been doing work on the... <laughs> is this the job of the tornadoes here? These destroyed buildings? Yeah, and this guy sounds so calm about it, too. Like, I'm pretty sure people have died. There's been, like, a really giant catastrophe over here. Is that is that one right there? Is it chasing me? <laughs> uh, you know, we cut, we start, you know, using a small little vehicle. Then we cut down mountains. Then we move containers. Then we cut down wood. And next thing you know, you're just being chased down by giant tornadoes as well. I'm telling you, man. Don't ever let anybody else tell you, but Giant Machine 2017, game of the year, best game of all time, honestly. Tornadoes, they say. I, I want to see a giant tornado. Oh, oh, there's one right there. As a matter of fact, oh, there's two of them. Now, you know, I don't know proper tornado um, protocol here or safety, but I don't think driving in between two tornadoes is really a good idea. I mean, I've never been in one. Oh, there's one right there. How you doing, buddy? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just a giant machine. I don't sweat tornadoes, really. Tornadoes sweat me. They're terrified of me. If anyone doubts miracles, they should have seen this one. Oh, I'm, I'm sure they doubt miracles right now. Oh, we're done. Silicon cargo is secured. How about that? Oh, good God. What's next for us? I hate winter so much. Two words. Snow clearing. I don't know. I, I live in SoCal, dog. I never had snow, unfortunately. <laughs> I've seen snow like twice in my entire life. The first time I freaked out when I saw it because I had no idea what the hell it was. Snow clearing and discharge batteries. That's why we keep them outside the vehicles nowadays. Pick up the battery from the table. Now you want me to grab batteries too? Alrighty, well, you know what? I, I think we've done enough giant machining for one day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time. Ooh, it's like the, the long dark suddenly. Yeah! 
Alright, you can have a couple of wolves come after us and shit like that. It's gonna be awesome. The long dark time, baby!